Well, as, as the uh, LGBT community has struggled for the rights, which it happily has, um, has gotten through, through hard fighting, um, we, we get to enjoy the rights that everyone else has. When I was a young man, I would look at my brothers, all of whom were married, and I didn't have that right. Today I do. I have all the rights that I always envied that my brothers had. There's so much to celebrate. You know, we will not be enjoying the benefits that we have today. One of the benefits is like marriage equality. And um, if not because of our LGBTQ ancestors. So it is our responsibility to basically work hard in order for the next generation to have a better, brighter future. I think it's important that people understand where we came from and what Stonewall was. Um, and understand that transgender and gender non-conforming identities aren't new. Um, transgender people actually gave us our rights and were the first, through the first stones. Uh, they started the movement for us. I think it's important people understand that because history can repeat itself. Um, I think that the history of our community has affected us in a really positive way in that we've gone from being on the sidelines or cowering in a corner to standing up. I think we're all standing on the shoulders of our forefathers and our foremothers who did and pushed through great strides for us to be standing. You know, we can be married now. Uh, there are a lot of accesses that we have in the way of benefits and insurance that help us all feel like we are a part of America. But the reality is that so much of that history is getting lost in the sauce. I don't think as many of our youth are connected to what those strides are and were. So we're running that risk of uh, uh, reversing some of the advances because we are not connecting as much to what really, really went on for us to be as free as we are. In terms of advocacy, my message to LGBTQ youth is uh, get involved. Uh, you guys have way more resources today than I ever knew could possibly exist growing up. If you're comfortable with who you are, talk about it. Educate people. Um, bullying comes from ignorance, um, and being able to talk about who you are and share your story helps change that. It helps make change. You may not be old enough to vote, um, but you can make a difference and change people's minds. To try to have an understanding about what it was like when we didn't have GSAs, when we didn't have curriculums or projects like When We Rise. You wouldn't be looking at me today in this video if it hadn't been for all of the progress that had been made. Learn where we came from and make sure we don't go back. You know, we're aging. We need to know the next generation is ready to pick up the baton and keep it moving and, and share themselves with the world because we've always, as my grandmother once said to me, Gays have always existed, will always exist, they just need to show up. So 